All right, guys, now we're going to do this problem in which they tell you F1, which is 30 pounds, and F2 is 40 pounds. Determine these two angles so that the resultant force is uh, aiming straight to the right through the x-axis, and it has a magnitude of 60 pounds. So basically, I'm going to redraw this force as one right here. And they're asking you what are these two angles now you know that this data is the same as this data so what you can do to make this kind of short this, this is super easy actually what you want to do is you want to do the log cosines why here's why let me redraw the triangle let me see 40 should be a little longer and 30 should be a little shorter more or less like that so this is 40, this is 30, this is 60, this is phi, and this is theta. And let's call this epsilon. You want to do the log cosines. Whenever you have log cosines, whenever you have three sides like this, and you're trying to find uh, the angles, and that's all you do. So let's say you wanted to find phi, for example. So you will use the log cosines, which says c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared minus 2 times a times c cosine of angle c. In this case, c will be phi, and 30 will be uh, little c. So when you plug the number c in, 30 squared is equal to 40 squared plus 60 squared minus 2 times 40 times 60 cosine of phi if you solve for phi you're gonna get that phi is equal to 26.38 degrees now you wanna do the same thing but for the for this one and this one to find the theta because the other angle that they're asking you is this one which is the same as this one since this line is the same as this 30 line right here so when you use the log cosines again and you plug in different numbers now you plug it for the 40 square is equal to 30 square plus 60 square minus 2 times 30 times 60 cosine uh, this case will be theta you're gonna get that theta is equal to 36.33 degrees and these are the two angles that you were looking for at this point you are done but let's say you're turning in a test and you already figured out this tool really quick so what you could do and what I recommend you to do especially if you're in a test is do the last one do the whole 60 square is equal to 30 square plus 40 square minus 2 times 30 times 40 times the cosine of let's call this other angle like that and when you solve it and you get the answer which should be 170.28 remember the inside of all the angles of a triangle has to add up to 180 so if you add this angle this angle and this angle they should give you 180 if you get 180 or approximately 180 you know that your calculations were correct this this is a quick way of of uh, checking your work whenever you are one step away from one li or one little calculation away for something that could confirm all your results you should get into the habit of doing it in the field or as tests get harder and calculations get harder this is a good habit so that's just a little bit of advice uh, from me to you so all you have to do is figure out these two angles which are right here and they are checked because I figured out the third angle and I add them up and it is 180 so that increases the chances of uh, us being right.